The movie begins with an intriguing advertisement about men's appearance. The narrator says that some men have pretty eyes, nice shaped jaws, and a slim figure, but they are not the ones we will be focusing on for the moment. The men opposite of the aforementioned features are the ones who need help. This is when we are introduced to a new invention called the handsome suit. It is a bodysuit especially designed for obese and ugly men to turn them attractive in an instant. It doesn't change their appearance permanently, but with a handsome suit, men who have been ugly their whole life can take a taste of what it's like to be on the other side of the spectrum. One such victim of his appearance is the 33-year-old Takuro. He is an amazing cook who owns a restaurant and has a great personality. Everyone loves Takuro as a friend, but as soon as he tries to approach a woman in a romantic way, he is reminded of his weight, his wide nose, and his non-existent jawline. Since his teenage days, he has been rejected by a total of 101 women. Not just that, but 52 of those women ran away crying, and 25 reported him to the police. At least Takuro is brave enough to speak to women. Takuro's love life is nothing but a huge joke, which has affected his confidence gravely. And the root of all his problems is that he is ugly. Because of this, he is the perfect candidate to be the brand ambassador of the handsome suit. One afternoon, Takuro is working at his restaurant as usual when a beautiful girl named Hiroko approaches him. She is interested in joining the restaurant as a waitress. Without even looking at the resume, Takuro hires her and is delighted to have someone as pretty as her working alongside him. As days pass, Takuro falls deeper in love with Hiroko. Whenever she locks eyes with him and doesn't run away, he thinks she is expressing her love. When Takuro isn't around, an elderly staff member asks Hiroko why she wanted to work in the restaurant when there are better opportunities for her here in the city. Hiroko reveals that she came to the restaurant a few months ago with her father. At that time, a man was caught for not paying the bill after eating. But instead of being mad at the guy, Takuro asked him for his reasons and allowed him to pay any time in the future. His kindness touched Hiroko's heart, which is why she wanted to work in the restaurant. After listening to the story, the elderly man believes that Takuro finally has a shot with a woman. Somewhere else, Takuro goes to his friends Hisei and Toto and asks them if he is ugly. They do not think before affirming that he is one of the ugliest men they know. However, they ask him to not let his ugliness be a drawback and confess if he has feelings for someone. Still in a dilemma, Takuro goes to a children's park and stays there for a long time. Then, he is approached by the salesman of the handsome suit. He proposes Takuro to be a brand ambassador for the product, but Takuro refuses to make a show of his ugliness. The next day, during lunch, Takuro makes Hiroko his favorite dish. She is blown away by the taste and expresses how much she loves it. But a naive Takuro thinks she is confessing her love for him. When she repeatedly says that she is in love, he replies that he too is in love with her. Uh-oh. He waits for her to run away in tears, but she takes him by surprise and inquires what it is that he loves about her. Taken aback, Takuro manages to blurt that she is perfect in every sense. Her eyes, earlobes, her hair, and even her pores are perfect. The answer makes Hiroko believe that he only loves her because of her looks, which is not the kind of love she wants to receive from a man. Takuro has lost all hope now that he has been rejected 102 times. The very next day, he goes to the handsome suit store and meets the manager. Initially, he is skeptical because the suits look like penguins. He wants to leave, but the manager and the owner repeatedly tell him that this will change his life. Eventually, Takuro stops arguing and agrees to test them out. This is when magic happens, and Takuro comes out as a handsome lad with muscular arms and a chiseled face. He can see a jawline on himself for the first time and is stunned by it. He continues trying on all the other suits and changes into many different handsome men. After much consideration, he chooses the one he likes best and buys it. The manager also tells him about the special sound button on his throat that changes his voice. Takuro explores his options and chooses the deepest and sexiest voice. Hi, mystery recapped here. At last, he names himself Hikariyama because it sounds more attractive than his actual name. Before leaving, he is warned to stay away from hot water while wearing the suit and to keep the suit a secret. In the very first hour of being handsome, Takuro experiences pretty privilege. The woman he used to shoot dirty looks at him in the bus now smiles at him. Many teenage girls fawn over him. The waitress serves him unlimited refills, and the women in the streets are nicer to him in general. Takuro even bumps into a modeling manager who wants him to model for his company. The next day, Takuro is in his usual ugly form when a woman named Moto enters the restaurant. She has come to inquire about the job as a waitress. 
After Hiroko left, the position has been vacant, but the customers don't want Moto to replace someone as pretty as Hiroko. Takuro protests and hires her, saying that looks don't matter when it comes to serving. Even Moto is surprised, because she has never been treated with kindness like Takuro shows her. Over the next few days, she wins everyone's heart with her hard work. But like Takuro, she is seen as just friendly and not attractive. When Takuro and Moto are together, she often flirts with him but passes it off as a joke. Takuro also begins to like her, but thinks it is purely platonic. Then, a week later, he goes to the modeling agency and meets the manager. Although it is his first gig and he can hardly pose, everyone praises him. No matter how bad he is, his face makes him a better model than everyone else. After the shoot, he meets a supermodel named Raika. She thinks he is too silly to be in the industry and fires him on the first day. But Takuro manages to win her over because of his personality. For the first time in her life, Raika feels attracted to someone. She even invites him to dinner at her house with her friends. At night, he goes to her place and discovers that her friends are none other than his best friends. Hisei and Toto, he pulls himself together and impresses them with his cooking skills. Now that he is handsome, his talents are praised more than usual. Throughout the night, Takuro slips out of his mask many times. First when his voice changes, and then when Toto compares him to his fatter self. However, he manages to keep his secret hidden and return home. He is exhausted after pretending to be someone else and wants to cook like usual. Moto is also at the restaurant to help him prepare for the next day. She has made a wrist warmer for him that plays his favorite song. It is silly, but Takuro appreciates the thoughtfulness. They talk about different things and accidentally touch hands while doing so. It sparks a strange feeling in both of their hearts. They do not know what to make of it and decide to just ignore it instead. In the following montage, we see Takuro taking part in several modeling gigs. He is in advertisements and on billboards and is living his dream. Everywhere he goes, groups of women follow him, and he can finally pick and choose a partner. As time passes, Raika starts falling in love with him because of his persona, but he is still attracted to Hiroko only. When he is sure that he has reached an admirable height of success, he finally goes to meet Hiroko as his handsome self. He expresses his feelings, like in the movies. But to Hiroko, it seems like a stranger is trying to hit on her. She excuses herself and walks away. But Takuro is so delusional that he believes she is just shy. Later that day, Moto and Takuro go out to shop for groceries. On their way back home, Moto notices that Takuro is not in a good mood. To make him feel better, she suggests they play a game where they have to take pictures of happy people in the market. At first, Takuro thinks the idea is stupid, but by playing the game, he realizes that happiness comes from the small things in life, like narrating for you guys. Moto also takes pictures of him enjoying ice cream to show him how happy he looks. Without Takuro realizing, he has begun to like Moto. At night, he cannot get her out of his head and sleeps while looking at the pictures they took in the market. The following day, after the shoot, Takuro is alone with Raika when she leans in to kiss him. Although he isn't attracted to her, he doesn't want to miss a chance to kiss a girl for the first time. They make out, but Takuro imagines that he's kissing Moto. That's… <laughs> okay. When things get heated, he feels uncomfortable and stops her to catch a breath. He says he wants to take a shower before making love and goes to the bathroom. What Takuro forgets is that he cannot wet the suit with hot water. Because of this simple mistake, the suit peels off his body and he misses the chance to make love to a supermodel. He sneaks out of the bathroom and runs away before she can see him. The next morning, they meet again at the studio and Raika is furious. She has never had a man reject her, which makes her want him even more. To get out of the situation, Takuro says that he wants to take their relationship slow. Later, the manager reveals that Takuro has been invited to walk in the annual fashion show organized by a popular brand. The show will open several gates of opportunity for him. Hence, it is crucial that he does well. After the discussion, Takuro is informed that he will have to take a hot shower for today's shoot. He refuses to do so and makes up an excuse. Everyone believes him, but a former model who is jealous of Takuro's success suspects that something is wrong. At night, everyone is at a party organized for his birthday. Takuro signs a deal of $5 million with the modeling company. Just when he thinks that he cannot be happier, the jealous model pours hot coffee on him. Fortunately for Takuro, the lights go off at that instant and he manages to run away without being seen. On his way back, the suit comes off and is completely damaged. He directly goes to the showroom and asks the salesman for a new suit. Then, he is introduced to the permanent handsome suit, which will completely turn him 
into a handsome model. However, it comes with a price, and he has to lose his former identity altogether. He gives it some thought, and then decides to buy the suit. On the way back home, he accidentally bumps into a woman and is accused of groping. Just because of his looks, people assume that he is a pervert. He is even taken to the police station and has to be bailed out by his co-workers. Upon returning home, Moto tells him that she knows he must have been falsely accused because he is not someone who could make a woman feel uncomfortable. Takuro finally gets ready to tell her the whole truth, but she dismisses him. A while later, Hiroko returns to the restaurant and asks if she can talk to him for a while. They go to a park where she reveals that she was overjoyed when he first revealed that he loved her. Takuro thinks she is making fun of him and asks her to go away. Her reappearance makes all his effort to be a different person fruitless. In a fit of rage, he wears the permanent suit and decides to forget his former life altogether. The next day is the day of the fashion show. It is the biggest opportunity for Takuro, but all he can think of is Moto. Somewhere else, Moto gets into an accident when a motorbike hits her on the road. When Takuro is informed of this, he is in shock. Before he can react, he is pushed onto the stage, but refuses to walk. He has finally realized that he doesn't want this life. He was the happiest when he was with Moto in the market. He ditches the show and runs to the back room. However, he forgets that the suit he is wearing is permanent. As the last attempt to return to his fatter self, he cuts his skin. Thankfully, the plan works, and the manager gets to see him as he is. In the following scene, Takuro arrives at the hospital and finds out the biker is the one who is hurt and not Moto. He is relieved to see her well. They go to talk in private, where Takuro is met with the biggest surprise of his life. Moto opens her fat suit and reveals she is actually Hiroko. She was tired of people liking her because of her looks, which is why she wanted to test him. She apologizes for lying to him, and the two finally get together. 